So anyways, after after that, I went on and I saw uh, Carnegie Hall, um, which is just a, a, a big uh, concert hall that um, is, is fairly well known around the world and something I had heard of, so I decided it would be somewhere that I was um, going to go and see. So I saw the outside of it. Unfortunately, uh, it was uh, under uh, restoration, just like many of the other old buildings that uh, they have there. Um, so there's scaffolding all over it, but uh, I still got to see it, and... Uh, uh, that was a neat building. Um, so after that, um, I went and saw the CBS building. Uh, I figured I had, I had seen so many of the NBC buildings, or I'd seen at least the main NBC building. I figured I should try and see at least the CBS building too, just to uh, kind of get perspective and, and just just to uh, be fair, I guess, to the two networks. Um, so I found a building that's called the CBS building, and it's nicknamed the Black Rock. And that's because it uses a uh, really dark colored uh, stone on the, on the outside of it. And uh, there wasn't really too much going on there. It was just, a, just another building. Um, but across the street there was, a, or really close to there, across the street there was this other building. It was pretty neat. It had these big, uh, interesting looking fountains um, in it that I, I looked at, which was, which was neat. Um, after that I went and saw the Juilliard School of Music. So, uh, Juilliard's a, a school that um, most people have heard of, and it's it's in New York City. And uh, I just wanted, to, again, I just wanted to see it because it was an, a name that I knew, and I wanted to be able to uh, relate the name to an actual place. So uh, I went and saw that. It was, it was a pretty neat. Uh, their main building is, is a pretty neat uh, architectural uh, a building that's there. Um, it has this big sloping roof, and it has this uh, little outdoor. Uh, like theater kind of auditorium sort of thing where, where people can sit and watch uh, probably little performances that go on there. Um, so that was neat as well. Um, after that I went uh, over to the David Letterman um, Theater to see, or the Ed Sullivan Theater where the late show with David Letterman is filmed. And uh, that, uh, in terms of late night TV, that, that is my, my favorite late night show to watch. Uh, Leatherman, he always always gets me to laugh, and uh, and uh, it's usually an entertaining show. And it's just I've been watching it since I was young, and I understand the humor now, and it's uh, it's just a good show. So uh, I went and saw it, and they weren't taping today. They're not taping until next uh, Monday, so uh, it wasn't really too much going on in that area. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of history with that building as well because. It, it's called the Ed Sullivan Theater, and that was where Ed Sullivan um, had had his show um, when back in the 50s and 60s when uh, his show was, was really big. So all the big stars from those days um, have, have traveled through there, including the Beatles in 1964, which was one of the biggest television uh, events of, of the century um, when the Beatles were there, and also Elvis was there, and the Supremes, and you know all the all the people from uh, from that era, and uh, and then also in, in this day and age with, with it being Letterman show, all the biggest celebrities uh, pass through his theater as well. Um, so right beside the uh, right around the corner from the, the late show, uh, the theater, there is uh, a place called the Hello Deli, uh, which is run by a man named Rupert G, and uh, he's frequently featured on Letterman's show. Uh, Letterman will often get him to be involved in a skit or something, or they'll take the camera over to his uh, over to his deli, and uh, they'll do something inside there, or he'll get a guest to come on and, and see Rupert instead of Letterman, or something like that. Uh, but it, it's always entertaining to see Rupert, and uh, so he's got this little, he's not, he doesn't work for the Late Show, he just got this little uh, business that's right around the corner, and uh, by being involved in these things with Letterman, it really helps promote his show, and that's why he goes along with it, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, so it was just this one little guy that runs this little shop, and uh, unfortunately when I got there, uh, it was closed. I didn't get to go inside. It was only 4.30 in the afternoon. I was really surprised. I'd actually ridden right past there earlier in the day uh, when I was on my way to something else, and uh, I wanted to go in, in the deli, but I wasn't hungry at that point. I, I just finished my uh, lobster bisque from the soup man, and uh, I didn't want to stop, but I did, I did just stop on the side of the road and look through the window, and I did actually see Rupert in there, which is you know, pretty neat because, it, you know, he, he, I've seen him so many times on TV that it, he feels like, you know, it's somebody that I know or 
feel like we're kind of friends, but of course he doesn't know who I am. But uh, anyways, it was neat seeing him through the windows. Too bad I didn't get to go in and talk to him. But uh, definitely hoping to get back there. Um, some some other point uh, on on my trip in the next few days. Um, beside the Hello Deli, I looked around. I looked around at the Ed Sullivan Building, um, just a, particularly at the tops of it, because um, they have a thing, a segment they used to do on the Late, late Show quite a bit. I don't know if they, they still do it uh, too frequently anymore, but they do this segment where they uh, have all these objects and they throw them off the side of the roof. So you know, like. 20,000 ping pong balls or something they just throw off the side of the roof and they watch it fall and hit the ground and, and that was, you know, it's, it's entertainment uh, just to see what's going to happen and, uh, you know, they do it with everything like fruit and uh, bowling balls, I don't know, bowling balls, but they do all sorts of different objects off the side of the roof and uh, there's a little segment they, they put in, used to put in the show uh, quite a bit, so I, I kind of looked around the building trying to see where that rooftop area was that they used. And I think I found it. I think it's right beside the Hello Deli, but I wasn't entirely sure of that. Um, but anyways, uh, so that was uh, neat to see. I kind of looked on the, on the ground to see on the sidewalk to see if there was any, uh, any remainders from anything they had dropped, but there, there really wasn't. Um, after, after seeing the, the, the Letterman uh, show area of, of, uh, of Broadway, um, I was pretty much done all of the, the buildings and stuff that I wanted to see in, in Midtown. So the other item that I had for um, that day was to go up um, to see Riverside Park, which is this large park that uh, spans the, the west side of, of uh, New York, right along the Hudson River. Um, so to get there, I took mostly I took the bike path that runs along the Hudson River, which I think I've mentioned earlier. It's a really nice trail. Um, it's pretty much it's pretty much constant all the way through, and it's right near the water. So there's very few uh, intersections where you have to stop at, or no traffic lights or anything. Um, but it, so it's a really nice uh, way of getting around, uh, particularly for for a cyclist like uh, like how I'm seeing the city. So that's what I took to get there. And uh, once I was in Riverside Park, it was it was really neat to see. There was, uh, it was quite a big park. It pretty much uh, I don't remember how many blocks it spans, but um, many many blocks. It's I think it's probably almost as long as, as Central Park is in length, and uh, there's quite a bit going on in there. They had uh, lots of little tennis courts and uh, basketball. They had big soccer field. I think they had baseball as well. And uh, lots of people just, you know, doing doing their sports in that park. But uh, they also had these big, long, large, wide uh, walkway paths, um, which were, were really, really nice to, to see um, through. Um, that park uh, actually has a, like a big elevated highway that runs like right through the middle of it, um, which you know isn't, isn't the nicest thing to have in the park. But uh, I think it was designed because it was supposed to make it to be a particularly nice highway. So you, you know, back when uh, highways were supposed to be nice places to drive, uh, or parkways, I guess, uh, was what it was designed to be—a a place where you could drive and it would feel like you were inside of a park. So. Uh, that's how it, it was designed. In that park, they also had this really big uh, Civil War memorial, um, with this big, huge uh, statue, uh, which was which was there uh, to commemorate all the people that had died uh, fighting in, in the American Civil War many, many, many years ago. Uh, so that's pretty much everything for uh, for Riverside Park. After that, I uh, took again the uh, the Hudson uh, River Trail, the bike path. Uh, pretty much all the way.